The next speaker is Ling Peng. She was up here earlier, so it doesn't require okay. it's forward, backward. Okay, thank you. So, uh, Lu asked me to, uh, as a scientist, as an author, as a reviewer, to talk about the uh, experience for my publication record. Maybe I'm not the right person because I don't publish a lot and I don't publish very good. So, uh, but as a uh, uh, scientist, we publish, and I think the most important thing for me to publish is try to deliver a scientific message. So this message may be new, or this message is something new for scientific knowledge, uh, technical improvement, is it better or new? This is the most important thing for me to publish as a uh, author and as a reviewer is also try to see whether the scientific message is a message is there to have some new knowledge, some better improvement technique part and for the readers is try to have some learning point, what's something new to learn. So to have the scientific knowledge we have uh, to to transmit a scientific knowledge because we are scientific messages. So we have to have scientific data, scientific results to support it. So this is important to make a publication. We have to have the scientific results. And also to put the scientific message in the context of the message. Then we have to introduce also a little bit background to mention whether this message has value whether this message has importance and where is the context of the message. So from this, we will usually is what we will write in the publication is the introduction. So I really, is, that's what we are doing when we as an author. And also to uh, support all of this, and then we have to provide all the experimental details and the reliable data, solid data, and to discuss the results and try to distill the scientific message from the experimental data. And usually the scientific message can come from two approach. First is that you make your hypothesis and you design your experiment and you get your results, you analyze your results and you distill your message and you share with everybody that's your publication. And the other part is that maybe you do your experiment, you have your experiment, you have something, discovery, which is not expected, which is unexpected, or which is in contrast to what you expected. And this is sometimes more interesting because something which you didn't expect it, that means definitely something is new because all of the knowledge which you can expect it, that means something have already well established. So this is also important if there's something which is not corresponding to what you expected. And then we try to design the experiment to prove that the discovery is solid, to prove the results is reliable, to prove that the results can stand scientifically, have their scientific rationals. And from the discussion, and in the context of the background, we get the scientific message and we have the conclusion. And this is what, as, uh, uh, for me, as an uh, author, want to share with all the scientific communities. And also as a reviewer, I will do the same thing for the, my colleagues' papers. When I review the paper, it's also try to understand what is the message inside, whether this message is situated in the context, the scientific context for the value, for the importance, for the impact, and whether this scientific message was supported by solid and reliable state data. And so for then, after you have the message, you have write up, and also you have to think about how, because right now there are so many journals, and you have to think about which journal to submit. Usually I fix the journals according to the aim, to the scope, to the message, to the scope of the journals, and uh, try to follow, because each journal has its a requirement and we try to follow the requirement. And since I'm not an English speaking 
person. So we try to also to make our uh, writing is easy, understandable, so everybody can understand the best paper is that uh, make the lungs specialist can also understand what the specialist can also understand. So make as large pop, uh, as large audience as possible to understand the message. That is a good good paper, good uh, experience to share. And also another thing that I think is very important is that the reviewers report. I think most of the most of the time that the reviewers report are very important, very helpful, and very instructive for, for us to improve our manuscript. So I would uh, ask all the uh, authors to look carefully at the reviewer's report, try to improve it according to the reviewer's suggestion, and sometimes, uh, for, sh for sure, sometimes the review reviewer may have misunderstanding, so you can try to argue the misunderstanding, try to demonstrate your own things, and then you will have your paper published. And finally, what I would like want to say is that uh, since I'm in the Academic Research Institute, all my research was funded by the government, by the Europe, by French government, or all, all the public resources. And I think the generated knowledge should be shared by everybody, should make the benefit for the whole scientific communities. So I'm, I'm the supporters for open access, and that's why I think that I think. United States made a very good thing the NIH. You, everything in NIH, you have the same format, very well done. But in Europe, unfortunately, every country has his own database. And even in France, we have CNS database, we have the university database, and we have the INSEM database. And I hope in the near future that the Europe can have the general database for all of us. The paper can be deposited in the, in the database. So, and uh, also for the open, open access, sometimes times is, uh, you have to pay. Sometimes it's painful to pay because the price is very high. And, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's uh, all what I can share with you and what I want to share with you. This is all my experience. Thank you very much. And uh, I think you can have more from Lou and the other people. Thank you.